Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use your iQualif software. Firstly, what we'll do is we'll double click on the icon on the desktop to open up the software. Once the software is opened and all updates have completed, you will see this screen and you can click on list mode. In the first pane you will see data being loaded. In this, date, in this pane you can select data by clicking on the various lines, clicking the green tick to deselect, clicking and dragging to select more lines, but today we're just going to select a single item. Then in the second pane data will be loaded and we can go and click on any of the columns to then sort categorically and select the items that we want to search for. Lastly, in the right pane, we can then select the last of the details that we need and click the Start button. If it asks you to add your last search, click No. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see the total contacts found as well as the pages left or elements. On the left hand side you will see the total progress. Now if we scroll down you will see the contacts being extracted. Once the search is finished you can go ahead and click export results, select where you want to save the file to, enter the desired file name and click save. Now we are going to look at manual mode. Click on manual mode, then in the center pane, type in the details as requested. Once you have finished typing the details, click start. Click no to not add it to your last search. And scroll down to see the contacts being extracted. Once the search is finished, click on export results. Select where you want to save the file to and type in a file name and then click save. Next, we're going to look at browser mode. In the center pane, a browser window will load and you will type in the required details in the different text boxes. Once you have made your selections and typed in all the details, click or well, press enter. The page will now reload. And if you scroll down ever so slightly, you will see the amount of contact found. Next, click on the Start button to start extracting. Click on No, not to add it to your last search, and scroll down to see the contacts being extracted. When you're done, click on Export Results, select the directory and the file name, and click Save. All right, next we are going to look at how to import a list, but there are various details that you're going to need. Click on File, Import List, and in the window that opens at the bottom, you'll see various fields. Those are the speed width that you're going to import. Next, you'll need to make a CSV file with those various fields, which I've already done, as you can see here. Now, once that list is populated, click File, Import List, click on Browse, select the file that you have made, and click Open. Now here at the bottom you'll see a uh, tick to enable and that's to enable headers. We have headers so we will be enabling that box. You can also swap around the various uh, fields here but as they're already correct I'm going to leave them as is. And click on start and click OK and click no you don't want to add it to your last search down and you'll see the contacts being extracted again. Once the search is finished, click on Export Results, select a destination, type in a file name. Thank you for using iQualif.